We can change the world And I believe The change begins with you and me Since their inception, our military forces have had an absolute ban on homosexuals. Now a decorated Air Force sergeant who has had three tours in Vietnam is going to court to challenge that ban. On March 6, Sergeant Leonard Matlovich disclosed to a supervising officer at Langley Air Force Base in Virginia that he was a homosexual and wanted to stay in the Air Force. Last week, the Air Force moved to discharge him, and Matlovich, with a team of lawyers, plans this as a classic test case, if necessary, all the way to the Supreme Court. Leonard Matlovich helped America learn to talk about homosexuality. He was a decorated Vietnam veteran who decided to challenge the military regulation against gays in uniform. I was tired of coming to work every day fearing losing my job. In the process, he brought homosexuality into the open in a manner and volume not known before in America. Gay people, regardless of what their walk of life, school teachers or whatever, are American citizens and they deserve the same rights as every other person in this country. The Air Force put Sergeant Matlovich on trial 12 years ago. Time put him on its cover. There's no medical grounds whatsoever now which the Air Force can discriminate against us. So it just has to be strictly prejudice and discrimination. The sergeant's plea to the off Matlovich lost at court martial and was thrown out of the Air Force. It was my personal loss, but it's going to be our victory. But there are countless gays in military uniform, and it turned out, in clerical, police, football, baseball, and every other uniform there is. Gay Sergeant Matlovich, you see, taking the stand not so much in defense of his homosexuality, but in explanation of it, brought a lot of guys out of the closet. Maybe not in my lifetime, but we are going to win in the end. Yes, Jesus loves me. Anita Bryant was once known as an orange juice saleswoman. Not anymore. With a religious fervor that has made her America's most controversial woman overnight, she has been selling her Save Our Children group. Her group is crusading to repeal a new Dade County law, which protects homosexuals in jobs and housing. Anita Bryant began her fight at her church, where the congregation believes the new law will force them to hire homosexual teachers. The campaign has been vicious. With television commercials, the Save Our Children group is appealing to parental anxieties, saying gays will flaunt their homosexuality before impressionable children. He believes his 12 years in the Air Force, a brown star and a purple heart, earned him the protection of Miami's new law. Three years in Vietnam, I spent four months in the hospital for hitting a mine that uh, blew up underneath my arm here and my chest is still full of metal. And I, you know, why did I do that? Why did I go to Vietnam and fight for the rights of the Vietnamese to make the world safer democracy there? Yet here in the United States, I'm being denied these very same rights that, that I went over there to fight for.
where that young kid that Harvey Milk so eloquently spoke about in Altoona, Pennsylvania, that young kid could come and say, there's Harvey Milk. There's a person who did something to make my life better. And I said then, we need the same in this country. We need to never forget. We need to know our heroes, our heroines. We need to know the ones who went before us. Because we too have a dream. And what is our dream? Ours is more than an American dream. It's a universal dream. Because in South Africa, we're black and white. In Northern Ireland, we're Protestant and Catholic. And in Israel, we're Jew and Muslim. And our mission is to reach out and teach people to love and not to hate. Leonard Matlevich has died in California. He was a veteran of Vietnam, the bronze star for bravery and a purple heart. In 1975, nonetheless, he was given a dishonorable discharge from the Air Force after acknowledging publicly that he was a homosexual. For several years, he fought for an honorable discharge, and he finally won. And he fought as well for gay rights and the rights of those with AIDS. And he has died of AIDS. He was 44, and he was determined that people would remember he will be buried in Washington, D.C., and his chosen epitaph is already on his gravestone. When I was in the military, they gave me a medal for killing two men and a discharge for loving one. When I was in the military, they gave me a medal for killing two men and a discharge for loving one. I believe that we can change the world. 